All right, so welcome. So uh, we're actually here in Photoshop, but we're going to go into Lightroom. So the first thing I'm going to show you here is these XMP files on the side that you see when you shoot RAW. So I get questions all the time. What are these? And so that's a great question, and it's actually very simple. It's basically a text document, and it stores all the metadata or all the information about your photos. So it shows, it tells about your camera, um, what lens you are using, and all the shooting information you have. Also, when you go into a program like Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom and you make an adjustment here, so I've come in here and I've bumped my red saturation up plus 100. It stores that information. So if we get take that file and let's see, I think I've opened up a program somewhere here. Yep, here we go, brackets. And so when we come down in here and I will see if I can zoom in this program. Oop, I can. So we can see we have saturation adjustment red and it's saying plus 100. So all those inf that information, that's how raw files work. They're non-destructive and they never actually change your original file. They just give you a preview of what you've done. And so every time you make uh, an adjustment with raw, it saves that information. So we can kind of scroll up here to the beginning and we can tell here's some uh, information about photo mechanic and blah 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 here's some of the metadata information that I put into that image and so on so that is how that XMP file so if you ever don't actually want the XMP file if you were to throw it away all it does is get rid of metadata information uh, associated with that image and any adjustments you've made in RAW. So if you've made in RAW, you'll lose those adjustments. Uh, but it's something you could definitely do again, and it would never hurt your original file. All right, so we are just in Lightroom, and I have these kind of general photos that I use here. So I'm going to just hit Command A, which is going to select all here in Lightroom. And what we're going to be going over is the export function. So this is one of the weird programs that you don't actually save anything as. So when you ex uh, want to send a file, you export. So um, there is an export button right here. There's also export up here. And then you can export with a uh, previous or you can set some presets. As you can see, I've set up some presets. Um, uh, and it's actually my favorite function within Lightroom because it does one really cool thing and it has to do with saving photos so we're gonna hit export and it's gonna bring up our dialog box here and so the first thing we have is your export location well actually the first thing is up here it has a couple of uh, de defaults of where you would want to go to um, I just use hard drive so uh, first thing we have is your location. So do you want it to go to a special folder? All right. Or what I usually use the same folder as the original photo. So it's going to put the image back in the same folder that it originally came from. But what I'll do, as you can see here, is I will give it a name. So let's say I was doing these images and I'm going to save them for the web. So I might put toned web. All right, and then usually 2024p. So I know I, they're toned web size for 2024 pixels wide. So actually, I don't even think these images are that big, but that's okay. We'll save them and export them out like that. And whatever you want to do, um, so you can also add them to your catalog as you export so that they will be added to the catalog so you can find them in uh, the future. Um, I don't actually use that, but we're not going to. You can rename your photos. So if for some reason you wanted to rename the photos, you can come and pick one of these uh, items here, fill out your custom text, and I can do it just for web images. And we'll put 2024p. 
so it will save it just like that um, video obviously these are not video files so we're not going to worry about that and here's my favorite one of my favorite things is you have file settings how you want to export so these being for the web obviously we are either going to be a JPEG or a PNG but we don't have PNG so we're gonna go with JPEG and color space so normally um, when I'm working in Photoshop I'm using Adobe RGB um, however the web works in the color space of sRGB and this is one of a great function that it allows you to just it realizes that you're going to want to convert to sRGB for web stuff and has the availability to convert to this color space is wonderful quality 100 and you could obviously change that and then you have a limit file size to whatever you would want if you want to use that now here's my favorite function within uh, Lightroom resize and so long edge so you can't do this in Photoshop this is why this is for batch um, saving where I have lots of images I actually will come into Lightroom just to use this because it's so quick and efficient so long edge meaning the width or the height whichever one is longer it's gonna save that as 2024 pixels um, so when you're working with pixels resolution has no effect on the image you are saving to a specific pixel size so whether that's 300 or 4 won't make a difference sharpen for the screen um, I use standard because I'm using a Canon camera and they need a little bit more sharp than a Nikon camera but you obviously have the availability to change that do you want to include all metadata and I usually do because I fill a lot of that especially when I'm sharing um, uh, journalism type stuff add a what a watermark now I have a watermark you can see set up but for this I'm not going to use it but I do use it a lot of times when I'm posting stuff and post processing after export do nothing but you could uh, pick some other uh, items here and then what's great is I'm not going to do this because you can see I have a social media one here um, you can hit add and save this as a preset so next time you don't have to come fill all this junk you just have to click that and you're done so I will just hit cancel so I'm gonna go up to file export with presets and I have it in here somewhere 2024 web same folder and we'll just click that and you can see it's going ahead and exporting those files and it is done so if I come down here to my folder and we'll go to date modified maybe not let's go to name down here Here's that folder web and there's all the images saved at 2024 pixels. So that is how you export um, files within Lightroom and it actually works really, really, really well. Um, there also is, just in case people are interested, um, and go over here to library and scroll down there are some publishing services here where you can set up obviously I don't use them but you can post directly to Facebook or Adobe stock or Flickr you can also add stuff um, I'm not sure exactly which ones you have but it will show you under here I know you can't do um, Instagram but hopefully that's helpful leave any comments or questions below and we'll see you next time